in this video, we'll see how to enable the dark mode for your Android application. Android Q, otherwise known as the Android 10, finally introduced the system-wide dark theme setting. Your application isn't affected in any way if you do not implement the dark theme. However, the users would expect your app to have this functionality as it's quite popular and many other applications are beginning to implement it. Let's begin. I have built a sample application with one activity that has one icon and one text view. Both have the same color, black. Now, when dark theme is turned on, we would want the color of both these entities to change to something that would be pleasing to the eye when viewed with a dark background. There's actually a very simple way to enforce dark mode to your application. You just have to add the parameter force dark allowed and set it to true in your app's theme and Android will choose the dark counterparts of what you've already used in your app. But the colors aren't always appealing and you have no control whatsoever. I'm going to show you another method which would be the correct way of doing this. Let's start with the icon. I've created an icon called ic underscore mood.xml in the drawables folder. Nothing new about that. However, I've created another folder called the drawable hyphen night. This folder also contains an icon with the exact same name. The only difference between the files in these two folders is the color. Android will automatically use the icon in the drawable night folder when the user has enabled dark mode. To do this for the text, we need to do something very similar. Instead of directly setting a color to the text in the XML, I have given it a theme called my text. The theme in turn has the color of black. Similar to the drawable night folder, create another folder called the values night folder where you can have the dark counterpart of what you have in the original folder. You can see another theme called app theme in the styles.xml which is essentially the style that the activity is using. I've given black as the color primary in the dark counterpart. Now let's see the app in action. When I first run the application, you can see the color of the text is black and the toolbar is green just as I had given in the normal styles.xml. Now let me go to the settings and enable the dark mode. And when I run the app again, you can see that the color of both the text and the icon have changed and so has the color of the toolbar. Before you implement all of this, do your research on what colors go together and what dark colors should be used for the light counterparts of your application. It's as simple as that. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe for more on-point videos just like this one.